and it was just cruising with my bro Bunkers and Crispy. We're having a great time out here. Is that a homeless guy? What is Who's that? Is that Diesel Dave? Uh, the, nah, no free ride, bum. What's going on? Is that yours? About now. Let's go, get in, man. This is gonna be great. <laughs> go, 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 go! Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm Dr. Matt, I'm king of the demolition. I'm glad that you're here. We have a very special episode today. So you guys have seen this before on the channel. This is the Can Cannon. It's made by a company called X Products. I have a few of them and they are awesome. The Can Cannon fires a full, totally full 12 ounce soda can or smaller or bigger. You can put like the big 16 ounces in there and it will fire it downrange at your target. It can shoot them like 100 yards. It is super fun and they brought something to market that makes it even more fun. If you guys remember in the good old days of Demolition Ranch, we used to do custom homemade shotgun shells where basically I would empty out the shot, the bird shot, the little lead BBs out of a shotgun shell, and then I would put random things back in them, like rocks, needles, razor blades, Lego men, everything. And it was super fun. X Products came out with these. They're little shot cups that go down in here. And then you can load these things with whatever you want. So we're gonna load them with whatever I want today. We have some grapes here on the table. I'm gonna go ahead and load these up. I have a shot cup at the bottom down there. I'm gonna fill this things up with grapes and we'll fire them down range. Barrel full of grapes. You load blanks into this so it shoots a blank round through it. And I'm gonna fire these straight at Lieutenant Dan. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we gotta take safety off. <laughs> uh, pretty sure it just liquefied them in the barrel. You got some grape jelly on your head there. I'm pretty sure there was so much force that it just exploded all the grapes in the barrel and just shot like grape jelly straight at Lieutenant Dan. I realize I should have showed you what a normal can looks like flying out of this thing, just for those who haven't seen it. So before I do anything else, Here's the Diet Sam's Cola. I'm just trying to do my part, make the world a better place, and get rid of that junk. See you, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Boom! That's what they normally look like. Well, I am a veterinarian, and a lot of times I worry about dogs in the woods that don't have enough to eat. This one's for my dogs. Uh, oh, probably shouldn't put the do not eat thing in there. We've got a barrel full of dog treats. I'm gonna send them down to Lieutenant Dan, he'll distribute them to the local animal population. <laughs> Check this out. That's why you wear eye protection, boys and girls. There it is. We made a swish in the truck. This was the one that was just shot. Totally reusable. It looks fine. Uh, we're gonna up the ante a little bit on this one. I got a box of nails. Can you guys see there? We got a lot of nails down there. I'm gonna get behind this tree and see you, watermelon. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That uh, would not feel super good. Watermelon got smoked by the nails. I think a lot of them went right there too. Probably need to get a magnet out here and come pick up all of these nails. What's that, guys? You wanna see me shoot CO2 cartridges out of a can cannon? <laughs> That's too dangerous, I'm not. Okay, you talked me into it. So normally you puncture the end of this to let out CO2 in a controlled manner. I just wanna see if I shoot him at that gun safe, if it lets out CO2. If it does, they're gonna go flying. <laughs> and it did, that was awesome. I got a campfire going over there and that's because when you have these lighters and you throw them, they explode, but they don't like explode with fire, they just explode with pressure. But if you shoot them into a fire and they explode with pressure, they'll also explode with fire. So I have a cup in the bottom of this, I'm gonna load this thing up with brand new lighters and we're gonna fire it at the cinder block and ideally we will explode with both pressure and fire. That's my hope anyway. Hopefully I live through this too. <laughs> I 
Those little lighters are cute, but what if we did it with giant lighters? <laughs> Do they fit? They fit perfectly. Oh, we got, got room for one more? Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, tell my wife I love her. <laughs> You know it'd be cool to be flying through the air out of a can cannon? Superman. I call it the Superman cannon. Perfect. This is gonna be great. I have a GoPro downrange. I'm gonna try to fire Superman right past the GoPro. And hopefully he flies straight. Oh! Superman exploded. Not so super anymore. Hey, Lieutenant Dan. I got you a friend. You guys behave yourselves. The little cups are cool, but they also have some other new things for the Can Cannon. Like this solid rubber ball. It's kind of like a racquetball. Like it's totally solid. It's really hard and heavy. Fits perfectly in there. We've shot tennis balls, but they're pretty light. This thing is gonna fly. I'm gonna try to make it go right past Lieutenant Dan and hit that metal target over there skills. All right, this one is gonna ideally go straight at Lieutenant Dan and probably bounce back and hit me. <laughs> ah! Oh God. Lieutenant! Superman! One other cool new thing that they have is this. It's a spear. It's basically like a harpoon gun now. So this goes right down here. There's a hole in it so you could actually tie a string to it if you wanted. Uh, <laughs> and then you can fire it at you know, watermelons or car doors or whatever. Let's see if I can hit this thing. Jeez. <laughs> so if you've been watching off the ranch, which you should, it's my other channel, I did a little strongman competition and they had a SWAT Bearcat. It's this giant armored vehicle and we had to pull it. And I was just checking out this Bearcat because I've never really inspected one super closely. It has a ram on the front. And then you also can put like this like hook on the front of it in case you need to like drag down a gate or a wall or something. It was awesome. I'll put a link in the description. Go look at it. But it got me thinking, you know what, Matt? You know what you need in your life? Don't need to talk to Mary about this, but you know what you just need without asking? You need a Bearcat. But I probably would get in trouble. But you know what I have? that's almost as good as a Bearcat is a Lincoln with a can cannon strapped to the hood. Well, strapped is loose. It's, uh, it's duct taped to the hood. And we have X Products new grappling hook, which folds down to the size of a can, goes down in there. You can tie a string to it, and then you fire it out when you need to get through someone's door. And speaking of Creepy Cooter's house over here, hey buddy. Come out. We got a warrant for your arrest. He's not coming out. Not a problem. I've got a Lincoln. Can cannon is loaded. We have the rope tied to it, coiled around so you can see this goes down, ties to it. Coiled around so when it fires, it's gonna stay connected to the front of the Lincoln. So basically just like the Bearcat, we fire it, it goes inside the door, wall, gate, whatever, and we hit reverse, we rip it down, we run in there, Guns a blazing. Safety's off. I have a my trigger right here. I'm gonna ideally not shoot it into the front of my truck. Okay, we're circling around, coming up to the perpetrator's house. Got the battering ram. Basically, it's the exact same thing as a bear cat. Um, yeah, this looks good. Last chance. Open up, or we're coming in. You ask for this. I didn't want it to come to this. We're pulling your house down now, sucker. That's what he gets, that's what he gets. You know, he should have listened. Let's go get him, guys. Oh no, guys, by the time I got back up here, I didn't realize he had a second wall. This is an armored wall that was under his first one. Sometimes, you just gotta hit the same house twice. We are going to go ahead and roll up on this thing again, blast it, tear down a second wall, and then we'll be in. Had to re-duct tape. For some reason, duct tape isn't a great weapon mount. This is it, guys. This is the moment we've been training for. We are finally gonna take down the kingpin. 
Great Pecooter. All right, I'm gonna line this puppy up. Looks pretty good. Got my trigger here. Fire! Oh yeah, it's a solid shot, guys. Went straight through the armored door. We got this. We're gonna back it up. Knock this wall down. Boiled again. Well, it's just the rope broke. We severely underestimated Cooter's defenses. That will not happen again. The next time that we come to lay siege to his mansion, we will arise victorious. I promise you that. Uh, well, well, we might. We, I'm not very good at laying siege, as you can see. I thought the Lincoln with the duct tape would have it. So, what would you guys have done differently to get into this? Also, let me know which can cannon attachment or projectile you like the most. And if you could put anything in a can cannon, what would you can cannon out of your can cannon? I'd love to know. Links to the shirts in the description below. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish.